guess we'll start in order. Well, just the order I wrote them down in. Started with the uh, left tackle from Duquesne, man. Shout out to the local kid right here, man. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> Jake Dixon, good size on him. Man. I think he's a little bit lighter, uh, 6'6", 290. But first off, I like his fundamentals, man. I think that he plays, you know, really technically sound, keeps his head out of his blocks. He's a puncher, and he trusts his puncher. He trusts his punch, excuse me, on that. Like his footwork, I think he squ- uh, stays square as well, which is key in terms of the pass protection, especially as a left tackle. I think the areas that he needs improvement in, though, is his anchor versus the bull rush and ultimately his strength. Because when you see him in like the run game, he's not generating a ton of movement. You can see some of the smaller defenders, you know, speed rushing on him and giving him a long arm bull and how he would be susceptible to that. That's the, the two things that really stood out to me the most. But I think as a whole, one of the things that I saw him put on tape, it was similar to what I used to see Al do in terms of he would chop the hands. So if a guy's going to bull rush you, remember we see Al put the straight arms out he's gonna chop him down so that way he doesn't have to worry about being strong enough or not strong enough right this dude he's done it a little bit but not to the same extent i think he would need to really refine that part he's trying yeah if, if he can get that going i think he has a chance to be an okay tackle in this league i think that right now he's more of a swing guy though more how than often anything, man. is that technique taught honestly man the first time i saw it taught was when touch uh and, and god rest uh god bless touch soul as well man but um when I saw Tunch teaching it to Al, I had never seen it. And even playing, I had never really played against somebody to do it against me in terms of like really weaponizing a consistent two-hand chop as a offensive tackle. Most of the time, they want to punch. And then after they punch, they want to grab and close up that space. Whereas, like I said, with, with that particular move, it would catch you off guard. And it'd take you a couple of times to really pick up on like, this dude is really chopping my arm and using my momentum and leverage against myself, you know? So if, like I said, Tunch taught it to, to Al, and I know Al, that's been his thing since, what, 2015, 2016 time frame? But I'm sure it's got to be other people that are using it, or at least they can put that on tape for Jake and say, hey, look, man, this is what you need to learn. This is what you need to practice. Kind of like Debo's rip move. It was like, man, you see Debo doing that? Everybody started trying to learn. How do you, just, like, you know, like that's that's the process with it. So for me, I think of Jake in a similar vein because his frame would allow him to do it because of the length that he has. But at the same time, I think that he has to figure out a counter to guys bull rushing him because right now I don't think he has a uh, an effective way to stop that rush. And if you can't stop that rush in the NFL, they're gonna kill you. Yeah, maybe he could be a successful Duquesne guy. The only guy that I remember. And had any success coming out of Duquesne. I don't know if you'll recognize his name. You might, because the AFC East, Lee Bauden. Hmm? Lee Bauden, New no. England Patriot cornerback. I didn't know him. Yeah, he came out of Duquesne. I think he had probably an eight, nine-year hmm. NFL career. Because Shout out to Duquesne, you're not man. really thinking a dude out of Duquesne is going to make it. Great. But hopefully he does. I mean, he's got the size, as you mentioned. No, he he's got does, the size man. and everything. He just probably needs taught up a little bit more. Yeah, and that's what it looked like. It's like, man, if he could just refine that, I think he'll be okay. 